We're here today with our partners at Property Week with James Andrew International. This is the annual get together. Normally MIPM time, but obviously the calendar has moved completely because of COVID. But actually we're back together 15 months since the last time with all of our partners, retail, property agents, talking about what's happening, Central London, UK, the big real estate issues of the day. But it's such a delight to be here in person, seeing our colleagues again. And obviously the world has moved dramatically because of COVID, so some hot topics to discuss through lunch. So I think there's challenges, but always opportunities with those challenges. But I think for retail, retail real estate, I mean, pre-COVID there was changes, but we've seen a fundamental shift now. And this is structural, up and down the country, every town and city. But some great new concepts, some great developments cracking on, and also a real belief that some of these big city centres absolutely have a future and how we repurpose them. But sustainability is running right through. How do we actually make these city centres truly sustainable, environmental, but also economically as well? So I think the West End is going to have massive transformation, probably the most we've seen uh, since the Second World War. And we're at the forefront of that, working with all of our partners to see that through in the years ahead. So this wonderful use class E, which is fantastic. E for everything, isn't it? So commercial, so retail, leisure, hospitality, offices, health and well-being. There's a lot of office development coming through, but I think what we hear from the market, uh, there's demand there for the top quality and probably the more price sensitive area. The middle bit's going to be tough. So Croydon, who knows how that's going to land, but certainly for W1, there's a real appetite and demand there. And of course, we're getting the Elizabeth line. It's going to open in Q4. Don't ask me which year in Q4, but certainly Elizabeth Line will open. That's going to be magnificent for us. But also weekend visitors, Reading to West End in 45 minutes with the kids. Fantastic opportunity for us as well in the future. Retail leisure, absolutely hammered balance sheets. And obviously the debate between landlord and the tenant in terms of what's going to happen with the rent is ongoing. And most of the landlords in the West End have been very pragmatic, very supportive. But I think the government needs to look at business rates again. The rents will sort themselves out. The market will adjust. It will be sorted out legally one way or another. And the market will reset the rents. But fundamentally, the rates, we've been talking about it for two decades now. It just needs a fundamental overhaul. We need to think about the future and what's sustainable. But I think the immediate challenge is we've got this revaluation now that actually we don't have this cliff edge of cost that actually the revaluation and the transition is felt in real time so for all of those businesses in the West End Manchester Edinburgh Liverpool they get the benefits in 2023 that will help the businesses that are there but equally it will help demand for new occupiers in the future